y'all. It's 19 Pyrex 20. How y'all doing? How y'all feeling? Hello, everybody. Hello. Hello. How you doing? <laughs> Good day. I'm, I'm not a, a how you doing person, even though I've been saying it. I've been saying it because of a vlogger I really follow and I really love her. But um, I'm a really hair flip. Good day. That's me. Please don't steal my stuff. But anywho, um, I look messy bummy. I just came from working out. Not just came. I worked out like maybe an hour ago. Uh, I just did. Um, I have a weighted vest in my house. I got it off eBay. It was like forty dollars, and it holds twenty pounds. And I have like maybe eighteen in it. So I just did a quick workout where I ran the stairs in my um stairway. I did squats. I did burpees. Um, and I did like some push-ups on the stairs and some like things because I worked up yesterday and I went to Planet Fitness in Great Neck. It is crowded out there. Sheesh. <laughs> but that's another story. Um, so I'm going to try and alternate between gym time and then like weighted vest because the weighted vest gives me a really good sweat. I listen to four songs and then put that on and I'm like dripping. So today's video, today's video of a single girl. It's not that I'm being single guys, it's, it's quite fun. <laughs> but today's video is online dating. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, let's be real. I've tried all the websites, all the popular ones. I've even tried ones that are like international. And let me tell you something. These scammers out there, like when the website says if you are talking to an African or someone from um, an, another country, I forgot, uh, that's a 5418, 718 scam, something like that. 4, 718, 418 scam. Just stop talking to them. Anyone who tries to give you their Yahoo chat, don't talk to them. Um, and I had some guys do that. I was just like, really, guy? Like, really? Anywho, yeah, so I've tried all the main websites. I've tried all, the, like, second best. And my conclusion is, is that, um, some of the sites are really good, but they just need to filter out. Like, we need to really find a way for people to filter out the bullshitters, the people who are in relationships and choose not to put it up. Like, give your social security or something. Like, it needs to be filtered because there are good people on there, but then they get discouraged because of the prostitutes that are on there. This is, and, and disclaimer, this is what I've heard. I've never had a man solicit to me, but I hear all the time there's just a lot of solicitation going on in these websites. And I remember I had to like literally get into one of the websites because I was like, you know, it's really funny how you're going to take a picture down of me, but you have people soliciting prostitution on your website. How about you check that out? How about you not worry about what I'm putting up on my page? Thanks. It wasn't anything bad. So, um, yeah, but all in all, in all, um, you can meet some good people, um, but then you have bullshitters, you know, you have a lot of guys, to be very honest, and guys, check yourself, you have a lot of guys in relationships. If you're in a relationship, and you're not happy, or you want to fool around, there are websites that let you say, I'm in a seeing somebody, you know, because other people could be seeing someone, if that's what y'all are into, and you want to be with someone else, even though you want to keep what you got at home, you do that on your own time, but don't sit here and say, I'm single, ready to mingle, when you've been dating your girlfriend or your wife, and you have kids. Like, I actually had someone message me before I legit got off, like, I'm the type of person, when I'm over it, I'm just going to shut everything down, take off all my pictures, shut it down. So, this lady messaged me about some guy, and I was like, uh, okay, he's abusive, he, um, he was abusive, he had three kids, he was married. I was like, I've never spoken to this person, but thank you for, you know, putting the putting out the 411. <laughs> so, but yeah, I've had instances where I've been fatfished. I've never been catfished. Thank you, Jesus. Aww. And honestly, like, if you really get in catfish, you're stupid. I'm just gonna put it out there, like... It's for season 10 of Catfish. Y'all should know the signs. And maybe just because my brain, like, I pick people's minds so much. Like, I'll talk to a lot of people, but then after that, we're not meeting or it's not going down. Um, but, yeah, like, my experience is, it's, 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 it's an okay experience. I think online dating isn't bad if you're using it for the right things. If you're just trying to be deceitful or you have a girl or you have a guy or you're a prostitute or you're a jiggle or escort, y'all need to get out, get off there, make your own website. Or go to Tinder. I don't know. Oops. <laughs> uh, but uh, let me tell you something. Disclaimer. With Tinder, I've met one person. And we went on a date. 
and that's all right. He was nice, and um, we're Facebook friends. He's like the only person on Facebook that I that I've added like maybe two, three people, and he's the only one I keep on there, and we can have a conversation. He's a nice person. But um, I digress. Other than that, like I said, I really don't like people on my Instagram or Facebook. And don't make that habit, guys. Don't make that habit of you having people that you really don't know on your Instagram and Facebook. And then you're kind of like, you forget about it. Like, who is this person liking all my pictures? And you're like, oh, yeah, I don't want to see who I'm really, I'm dating. If, you know, you guys went on a date and it didn't work. So, anywho. Yeah, um, let me do a quick segue. To all y'all people. Come here. Come here. You, y'all listen. If you're married... In a relationship, please put that down. Please be honest and forthright. Because at the end of the day, that's something that's going to set you free. No one wants to sit up here and say, I met a nice guy. Oh my God. And this, and then you turn around, married for 10 years, and you're not going nowhere. Get your life together for real. Like, if you're going to be married, there's websites that says you can be married. Like, no one's saying that you're not going to date no one. But you ain't going to date me. But anywho... Uh, for the most part, online dating is just okay. It's not bad but it's not great um after a while I was more interested in answering questions on the website than talking to people (laughs) because I was getting the same people or girls don't you hate this when you've spoken to someone and um it didn't go as planned and then you I, I like I said I would delete a page and like go months without being on and be like I'm bored let me get back on I like answering the question (laughs) And then the same person talks to you and acts like they don't know you. Like, guys, I know your MO. Y'all not slick. Like, guys try to act stupid on purpose. Like, I didn't know that. We've talked before. I was like, yeah, we did talk before. You don't remember the conversation? Oh, let me let me give you the conversation. And they're like, oh, I'm sorry. Can we try? No, we can't try again. One time, one time only. I'm going to make a video next about first impressions because they're really important. So... Yeah, online dating is alright. Uh, I feel like, why would I pay for something if a lot of the guys are still going to be on all the same websites and still trying to show penis pictures and then trying to call you a cunt or being, um, I had one guy who was like, I have a nice car and I have a good job, but I'm only off Tuesday and Wednesdays, so if you're not ready with it, you can't get with it, then you gotta go. I was just like, your name is? Hi, nice to meet you. Like, a lot of men are impatient because they don't want rejection. But rejection's a part of dating. Everyone gets rejected. It's okay, guys. You'll be fine. Everyone gets rejected. It's part of life. If you weren't, realistically, if you weren't to get rejected a lot, how can you appreciate the person that you're meant to be with? If you get every girl or you get to date every person, you're not going to know what's special. You're not going to know what it is to chase a person. You're not going to know what it is to really show effort. Because you're like, hi, hi, you want to be my boyfriend? Oh, yeah, let's date, let's go. No, there's you're going to be bored. And that's why you're going to jump from thing to thing to thing. So be, be thankful that because you do like something, you're not just going to get it nilly-willy. Like, it doesn't happen like that. Like, anything you really want in life is earned. And I truly believe that. But anywho, one of my first experiences with online dating was funny. And I just feel like this has been the pattern. Maybe because I'm just like such a nice person. And like if someone compliments my picture, oh, you look pretty or you have nice this and nice that. Thank you. I was raised. You say thank you. That's it. That doesn't mean I'm going to give you any less or any more. Um, And if I'm not feeling you from the way you speak, the way, not even speak, the way you type to me. If I'm not feeling it, I'm going to be very dry and just like, thank you. All right. You, you should get the point. But maybe people know how to read between the lines. Okay. Um, My first experience was just basically like, okay, I'm out of a relationship. I haven't dated. I I don't cheat. So I wasn't like looking at other men in two and a half years. So dating was very different than 2010 as opposed to 2013. And uh, I was just like, well, what, you know, I just want to take it slow. And I was talking to a guy. And we legit had a phone conversation for five hours just because I can talk and I'm inter- I hope I'm interesting. I don't want to sound haughty or anything like that. Like, I'm not that person. I'm not a cocky, haughty person or anything like that. But I feel like I can talk about a lot or try to talk about a lot or at least ask questions. So we were talking for like a couple of days. And then I met another guy. And he was more straightforward. And I was just like, okay, cool. He's like, let's meet up tonight. Meet here. We went to the same college. So it's like, okay, we'll meet around the area. So I was like, cool. So the next day, the first person I originally spoke to was like so excited because we were supposed to go out that day, he just kind of went from, like, 0 to 100 and put his foot in his mouth. 
And um, when he did that, I was like, you know what? I don't know you like that, but I'm not feeling the situation. Um, we're not going to go out. I don't, I'm sorry. I just, I wasn't feeling it. And, and, and ladies and men, trust your instinct. Trust your gut feeling. If it don't feel right, it ain't right. So I was just like, I'm good. He didn't respond. Okay. Leg legit guys, because I'm yelling. Legit guys? Like four hours went by? Then he messages me on the website. I don't want to talk to you anymore. Lose my number. Don't don't talk to me on this website. It's, I'm giving you my face. You see my face? But you didn't think I realized that when you didn't respond? Why would you then four hours later think you're going to up, up me one and respond? I was like, bye. I was like, okay, bye. I, I realized that when we, when you didn't respond, I wasn't mad. Next, I said, actually, I went on a date, and I'm going on another one tomorrow. Are you mad? Goodbye. I don't know if I was really going on a date. I think I was going on another date with someone. <laughs> but neither here nor there. It's just kind of like, don't try to one-up a person because you're mad. Honestly, if it, it depends also on the situation. If you two made a legit connection, and you went on a date, and then they were acting flaky, absolutely say how you feel. I've I've had to do that with many people. Um, not many people, but I had to do it with some people. Um, like legit, we connected, we were very friendly, we were supposed to meet, and it happened, and then they just disappeared. Just say, look, I'm overwhelmed. I would appreciate a person to be like, you know what, I just got out of a relationship, and I'm overwhelmed, and like, you're hitting me real hard with things I really want, I don't want in a relationship, or whatever the case may be, but I'm not ready. You know what, I respect that. That's, that, that's more vulnerable to me than trying to be cocky or anything like that or like oh I got it or I'm a ladies man vulnerability to me shows strength and I feel like because I can be vulnerable and truthful that's what I'm looking for but you know just a lot of guys and girls I just feel bad for people who really want to meet somebody and don't have the time like at that time I was working two jobs I legit was working seven days a week like legit if I had to work both my jobs I'd be up by 6 30 I'd be up like 6.25 in the morning and I would get home at 12.15 at night to then do it all over again. Legit for like seven days, like seven days a week. Uh, so basically I was at least working one job a day. Legit. So I didn't have the time to go out and party and I was still kind of like making it work. But you know, I like my sleep. So it's just kind of, it was hard. So uh, honestly, I just got off of them because I got tired of it. I got tired of um, seeing this. I use, if you use the apps on your phone, y'all know what I'm talking about, guys and girls. You see the same damn people. So like it was to a point with one of the websites, I just would change my zip code and see what else is out there. Because I'm a firm believer that love may not always be where you're looking. It may be where you least expect it. And if you really want a relationship what's a couple of thousand miles, you never know if you can relocate or vice versa. So I was never opposed to like just finding love or looking for the one only in New York City, New York State, Long Island, Nassau, maybe something. <laughs> but, and, and people like would be weirded out by that. Or like when I would talk to guys in other states and we connect, they'd be mad that I live in New York. I'm like, but you know, who says we can't meet? Like I'm that type of person. If you're real chill, you're dope. We can meet halfway. It don't bother me. I take the train all my life. <laughs> so taking the train an hour after the city doesn't bother me because that hour that I get to the city don't count. You know what I'm saying? So I'm real cool about it. But like I said, come correct. You don't come correct, you're getting shut down. But um, I think the dating sites can be a help for people who really want. But I just feel like the people who are just kind of ruining it and making it a bad name, shame on you guys and girls. Um, you know, because then you make everyone think that everyone's either a scammer, a prostitute, or just someone who's in a relationship, you know, trying to just live outside and live a, a dubious life. And it kind of sucks. But, um, personally right now, I'm not on any of them. I've gotten tired. Um, I'm chilling right now. I mean, I am like talking to one person, but I kind of met him on a different website and he's not here. He's in another country. He's American. <laughs> he's not, it's not like that. He's a soldier and I'll just leave it at that. But, um, other than that, I'm chilling. Like I'm really okay with where I'm at. Uh, if me and him work out, he, when he comes home, you know, and we work out, we work out, maybe you'll see videos. But other than that, that's, it's really, I have really no options. And I'm okay with that. I'm not mad at that um, or anything like that. Y'all, that's my avocado in the background. I don't know what y'all think. Like, what the, what the F she got back there? It's a black, it's a house. 
avocado. So I'll see you guys next time. I'll do another vlog today. Bye.